Romney says he's got a five-point plan. Governor Romney doesn't have a five-point plan. He has a one-point plan. Only 10 minutes in, and they immediately went at it. You'll get your chance in a moment. I'm still speaking. It was presidential debate round two Tuesday night at Hofstra University, and both President Barack Obama and Mitt Romney were in full fight mode, trading sharp jabs for the full hour and a half. Mr. President, have you looked at your pension? Have you looked at your pension? I've got to say. Mr. President, have you looked at your pension? You know, I, I don't look at my pension. It's not as big as yours, so it doesn't well, take let as long. Well, let me give you some, the, let me give, uh, let me give you some advice. Uh, the two of them almost tussled. I almost thought there was going to be a fist fight for a moment. Quite a different debate than the first, where Obama lacked the fierceness he showed Tuesday night. Amongst other things, Romney and President Obama scuffled over issues such as energy, taxes, immigration. Obama called Romney's tax proposals, quote, sketchy. Romney repeatedly pointed out the failing economy under Obama's presidency. This was a clear victory for President President Obama. President Obama scored uh, many victories. However, there were no knockout punches. Uh, Romney made some good points, but overall he stumbled on his answers. And so at the end of the day, this is a clear victory for the president. However, there is more work to be done for him. Of course, to some, the winner was a matter of opinion. And you saw what happened. Governor Romney was backpedaling all night and he was exposed. A president cannot defend the indefensible. Uh, no amount of histrionics can sweep away or change the bad facts of the last four years. This was definitely a much more contentious debate than the first. We saw very aggressive body language between the two candidates, often walking up face to face as they fired off insults. President Obama is expected to experience a slight bump after Tuesday's debate. Now, whether or not that will carry him into Election Day remains to be seen. In Hempstead, New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press.